In this video, we are going to talk about is it possible for a newbie website to outrank an established competitor website? So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. If you want to learn more about that, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So today we are going to talk about few steps that a newbie website owners can take to outrank some competitor websites which are already established in market. And we start with number one and that is using long tail keywords. Now we have already created a video about long tail keywords. If you want to watch that, you can check the link in the i button above and you can know more about how these long tail keywords work and how you can find long tail keywords for your business. The idea here is that if your competitor is ranking on a single word keyword or a generic term keyword, then you cannot compete that keyword directly. You need to take an alternative route and then slowly gradually acquire the customers or the new audience in your market. For example, as we have already discussed in the previous video, if you have a company who is selling running shoes and if your competitor is already ranking on the keywords like running shoes, then you cannot go directly on that keyword and expect to beat them in the coming days. But if you take the alternative route and choose some long tail keywords, then you can easily work around and start getting some initial traction and then go from there. For example, you can choose a long tail keywords like best running shoes under a budget or best running shoes for maybe age or you can play around with this keyword and create multiple variations to make it a long tail keyword and then create some content around these keywords and you will be easily able to attract a very targeted audience and with that, you will be start getting some traffic so that in the long term, you can easily get rank on the generic keywords as well. And that brings us to the point number two, that is creating some valuable content. Now, once you have finalized your long tail keyword, depending upon what business niche you are in, then make sure you check what are the content pages or blogs or product description pages your competitor website got for these keywords or related to those keywords. And then make sure you create the same content around your long tail keyword, but make sure you make it far better than your competitors. And once you do that, you will be able to get more eyes on your content and you will get more rankings in search engine results. And that brings us to point number three, that is add schema markup on your content. If your competitors are not using schema markup, then you have a lot of advantage to take here. Now we have created a lot of videos about schema markup, how it works and how you can add one on your WordPress website. So you can go ahead and check the complete playlist. The link is in the i button above and we will also link that in the video description below. Now it's obvious that we want to rank higher on search engine results and how you do that by making search engines understand our content in a better way than our competitors. Now, if your competitors are not using schema markup, you get a great advantage here because once you add schema markup on your content, you are making search engines understand your content in a better way. Because with that, search engines now know the context of your content and they know various details about your content, which your competitors are might be not able to do that yet. And once the search engines know your content better, you get a higher chance that your content will be preferred higher in the search engine results. Point number four is to improve user experience. Now we know that search engines are emphasizing a lot on core web vitals and user experience is one of the major factors that can make or break deal for you. So make sure you work on better user experience and try to make it easy for your visitors to get the information that they want in a very easy and convenient way. And once you do that, in the long run, it will help your website to get ranked higher in search engine results. Point number five is to repurpose your content. Now, as we have mentioned before, in order to outrank your competitors, you need to write some better content using long tail keywords. And once you have created a content for one platform, 
it's time to repurpose them and then post it on various social media platforms. For example, if you are writing blogs for your website, then you can easily convert that blog into a video where you can do a voiceover or maybe you can just do a slideshow and text based videos. So this will give a big exposure for your brand and your content or your brand will be visible on various platforms and without any much of extra effort. So the more you are visible online, the more audience you will get on different platforms. And in the end, the bonus point is to keep patience. Now, these established competitor websites are in the market from a very long time. They are at that authority level because they took one step at a time. There is no way they jumped from zero ranking to the topmost ranking in a day or two. It took a lot of time and work. So patience and consistent work is key when you are trying to outrank your competitor's website. So these are some of the points that you can implement on your website to outrank your established competitor websites. And if you want to learn more about SEO for WordPress website, then make sure you watch our complete playlist. The link is in the i button above and the video description below. And if you want to learn more about WordPress in general, then make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.